crap that was way too close for comfort where am i what is this place a radio maybe i can call for help come on give me something all right i think i got it let's see if this works this is jason i need help is anyone out there can anyone hear me please someone oh fuck this ain't good fuck this is where i die isn't it Electricity is a form of energy resulting from the movement of charged particles such as electrons, which creates a flow of electrical current. It is a fundamental force that powers devices and appliances in our daily lives, from lighting and heating to communication and transportation. Electricity can be generated from various sources such as coal, natural gas, nuclear energy and renewable sources such as solar and wind. Understanding and controlling electricity is a crucial aspect of modern technology and has revolutionized the way we live, work and communicate. Boo! But Graxo, how does this apply to Project Zomboid you may ask? Well I'm glad that you asked this question. In Project Zomboid, as you may have already noticed, there are a lot of appliances that rely on electricity to run. Things such as lamps, fridges, ovens, washing machines, tumble dryers, TVs, you name it, they all require electricity, and without it they simply won't work. And well, at the start of the game everything is powered because the power grid is still working. Every building that is not player made will have access to this electricity at no cost until the power grid inevitably fails. At some point during your first 30 days, the power grid will shut down and the whole Knox County will go dark. Whilst this may sound scary, you don't need to be scared. Not only are there methods of generating electricity after the power grid falls, there is also a way to detect when that's going to happen. To find out when the power grid is going to go kaboom, find a radio with an automated emergency broadcast channel as one of its presets, tune into this channel, and every day at 9am sharp, keep an ear out for one of these two messages. Nox power grid power fluctuations is detected. Nox power grid, systems failing, network compromised. The first message gives you a 48 hour heads up as to when the power is going to go out and the second one gives you a 24 hours heads up. Being able to predict this will improve your chances of survival drastically as you will be able to prepare for this event and not be caught off guard lacking. Now that the power is out, you need to get your gears on and find a way to power up your base. The only way to generate electricity that's currently implemented in the game is through the use of generators. A generator is a device that you can find on your adventures that will guzzle up your gasoline and will reward you with a sweet, sweet electrical current. A single generator can power up your entire base no matter how many appliances you have connected, but the fuel consumption goes up with the power demand, so keep that in mind when connecting more appliances to your base. Generators can be found in a few different places. You're likely to run into them at warehouses, garages and sheds, although if you're lucky enough to have found a sledgehammer, you can go raiding self-storage units as each storage unit has a chance to spawn a generator inside of it. 
Once you've found your generator, you'll notice that you can't carry it in your inventory. Instead, you have to carry it in both your hands. What this means for you is that you're likely to be very encumbered as a generator weighs 40 units. You want to be able to climb over fences otherwise you will drop the generator and you can't use any of your weapons as the generator takes up those hand slots. I'd recommend finding a generator, marking its location on the map and coming back with a car to carry it back to your base. There's a nifty trick where you can place an item on the seat of your car even if it exceeds its weight limit, so there's that. Now that you've brought your generator back to base, find a spot for it and place it down. Our generator's sphere of influence extends in a 20 tile radius around it and two floors above and below it. Beware though, because if you place the generator inside your building, when it runs it will create toxic fumes that will quickly kill your character as long as they're also inside the building. So I recommend placing it in a walled off area on the side of your base or on the roof. Now you need to make sure that you have either started with the electrician occupation or have read the how to use generators book. Right click on your generator and select the connect generator option. The generator should now be hooked up to your building and the only thing that's left for you to do is to fuel it up with gasoline and turn it on. A single generator can take up to one and a quarter gas cans worth of fuel and it can only be filled up when it's turned off. If there aren't any appliances around the generator that it can connect to, it will only use 0.02 litres of fuel per in-game hour. However, this number will scale up depending on how many appliances are in range of the generator. To calculate how long your generator will run for with your current fuel amount, you can divide the fuel remaining by the power demand amount, both of which will be listed in the generator info tab. This will give you the amount of hours that are left on your generator, which if you divide by 24, this will give you an estimate of how many days that's going to last for. Each day, your generator will lose around 1.2% of its condition. Don't worry, it's not difficult to fix it. If you have any electronic scraps, you can right click on the generator when it's turned off and consume those electronic scraps to fix it. A single scrap will fix the generator by 4 plus half of your electrical skill level percent. This means that at a max electrical level you'll be able to fix 9% of your generator's condition with just a single scrap. If your generator falls below 20% of its condition, there will be a chance that it explodes and catches on fire, so I'd recommend sticking strictly above the 20% value mark. That should cover the generator aspect of the guide. There is one more minor way to address the power issue in the game, but it is limited and requires your character to be level 5 in the electrical skill. If your character is skilled enough and has a piece of electrical scrap and a screwdriver on them, they'll be able to craft a battery connector on a lamp that will allow the lamps to be powered by batteries. This will allow you to still light up areas even when the generator has run out of fuel or if you simply haven't found a generator yet. Although remember, you'll still need to replace the light bulb every now and then for this to keep working. I hope you've liked the video and learned something new. If you have, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel as it goes a long way to motivate me to keep making videos like this. For other informational videos regarding Project Zomboid, check out my Project Zomboid 101 playlist which should be linked in the description and should pop up somewhere on your screen right about now. If you want to catch me playing live, turn your notifications on and it will pop up with a little notification when I go live here on YouTube. Alternatively, visit me on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash underscore which will also notify you when I go live if you follow me there. I hope you'll have a good rest of your day and lights out.